Imagine typing a single sentence and within seconds watching it transform into a realistic video with voices, sound effects, and smooth camera motion. OpenAI has just launched Sora 2, and immediately comparisons with Google's VO3 began flooding in. Both are fighting for the future of AI-generated video, but the question is whether Sora 2 just pushed VO3 out of the spotlight. To see why this matters, you need to know the players. In mid-2025, Google unveiled VO3 its most advanced video generator yet. It wasn't just a flashy demo. VO3 came integrated into Gemini and Vertex AI, Google's flagship AI ecosystem. It could generate eight-second clips with cinematic quality, smooth camera movements, detailed lighting, and realistic textures. Google made it widely accessible, too. Developers could call it through Gemini APIs. Enterprise teams tested it in Vertex AI, and even Canva integrated it, letting everyday users create short videos videos without leaving their design platform. For months, VO3 became the gold standard for AI video. Then, OpenAI answered with Sora 2. But instead of focusing on enterprise integration, OpenAI tied its model to a brand new app called Sora. Built like TikTok, it's designed for generating, remixing, and sharing AI-made clips in a social feed. The rollout is intentionally slow invite only, iOS first, and currently limited to the US and Canada. But the move signals something bigger. While Google leaned into developers and businesses, OpenAI went straight after creators and viral culture. So on what grounds can we really say Sora 2 killed VO3? To make it fair, we need shared yardsticks. The real test comes down to six areas. How realistic and physically accurate the clips look, how well dialogue and audio sync with visuals, whether characters and objects stay consistent across multiple shots, how much creative control users get, the ecosystem and adoption strategy behind each rollout, and finally, how each company handles safety, copyright, and moderation. These six battlegrounds are where the fight between VO3 and Sora 2 will play out. Side-by-side -side comparison When two of the biggest players in AI launch video models back-to-back, -back, the comparisons are inevitable. Instead of broad claims, let's break Sora 2 and VO3 down category by category. Realism, Physics, and Visual Fidelity VO3 set the bar earlier in 2025 with cinematic clips, smooth pans, dramatic lighting, and image-to-video transitions that turned stills into moving shots. It felt like AI video had finally crossed from gimmick into something people could actually use. Sora 2, though, doubles down on physics. OpenAI calls it more physically accurate, realistic, and controllable than anything before. In plain English, fewer weird glitches where someone's arm melts into a chair fewer floating objects, and more natural body movement. Cine D pointed out that Sora 2 handles collisions and realistic motion better than past systems, which is a fancy way of saying it looks less dreamlike and more grounded. Neither is flawless, though. Both still struggle with crowded, high-action scenes, but OpenAI clearly targeted realism at the structural level. Audio, dialogue, and sound synchronization. Audio is where the models really split. VO3 can generate sound, background noise, dialogue, effects. But syncing it cleanly is tricky. Lips don't always match, and sometimes sound feels pasted on rather than part of the scene. Sora 2 makes audio sync the headline. Dialogue lines up with lip shapes. Thunder rumbles with lightning. Traffic hums as cars slide through the shot. Those little alignments matter. A clip with mismatched voices instantly feels fake, while a clip where everything syncs feels natural enough to pass as real. For short-form content meant for social feeds, that polish keeps viewers hooked instead of swiping away. Length, Continuity, and Scene Transitions Here's a straightforward stat. VO3's clips max out at 8 seconds. Great for a punchy shot, but not much for storytelling. Stitching clips together often breaks continuity. Faces shift, outlines change, or styles reset. Sora 2 pushes to 8 seconds inside its app, but the real upgrade is continuity. The model remembers characters across shots. Same face, same clothes, same general vibe. Cine D and Engadget both noted this as a huge leap for short narratives, even if we're still far from full short films. Complex transitions are still tough, but keeping a world consistent is a big step toward usable storytelling. 
user control and creative steerability. Anyone who's prompted AI knows the frustration. You type out a detailed scene and the model spits out something totally different. VO3 can be like that, powerful, but still a bit of a black box. Google has added flexibility with fast variants and image to video tools, but fine grain directing is limited. Sora 2 takes a stab at solving that. OpenAI leans on what it calls steerability. Instead of just describing, you can nudge style, pacing, and camera movement. Want to zoom in? A slow motion pan? A cut from daylight to neon night? The model is built to take that guidance more literally. For creators, that moves it closer to directing than guessing. Ecosystem and adoption strategy. This is where the philosophies really split. VO3 is everywhere in Google Stack. Gemini, Vertex AI, Canva. That means enterprise teams, developers, and even casual Canva users can generate videos without learning new tools. It's business first, infrastructure heavy, and globally accessible. Sora 2 is the opposite. It launched inside the Sora app which looks a lot like TikTok. Vertical feeds, remix features, easy sharing. TechCrunch called it part video generator, part social network. The viral loop, create, remix, repost is baked in. And as mentioned earlier, it's invite only, iOS only, and currently limited to the US and Canada. So while VO3 has wide reach through enterprise, Sora 2 is playing the exclusivity and culture card, hoping buzz outweighs limited access. Safety, moderation, and copyright. Safety's the elephant in the room here. Google leans hard on its synth ID watermarking, which invisibly tags AI video so platforms can spot it. VO3 also has layers of filters in place. It blocks explicit prompts, tries to stop copyrighted material from being generated, and generally keeps things on the conservative side. OpenAI says Sora 2 is safe too, with filters, moderation tools, and consent checks. But controversy came fast. A router's report in September 2025 revealed Sora might allow copyrighted content unless rights holders actively opt out. That flips the usual setup. Instead of asking permission first, content is included by default. Rights groups are already warning this could flood feeds with unauthorized stuff. Think Disney's Mickey Mouse or Nintendo's Mario. 404 Media even spotted some questionable examples slipping through. Add in the broader threat of deepfakes and misinformation, and both companies are basically walking a tightrope. Sora 2's chasing creators directly. The app feels more like TikTok than Google Cloud. Videos aren't just made. They're instantly shared, remixed, and dropped into trends. That gives Sora cultural reach VO doesn't really have. But it also invites bigger risks. Copyright battles, moderation slip-ups, and viral misuse. The edge, the limits, and what's next? Sora 2 gains the edge by combining sharper realism, better physics, and synced audio with something Google hasn't matched, a social-first app. The model doesn't just reduce glitches, it keeps characters consistent across shots, lines up lips with dialogue, and layers in sound effects that actually match the action. Pair that with TikTok-style remixing and sharing, and you get a tool built for culture, not just enterprise dashboards. Those advantages compound. Better video quality plus a viral loop creates momentum VO3 can't easily replicate. That said, VO3 isn't out. It's mature, backed by Google's global infrastructure, and already integrated into Gemini, Vertex AI, and Canva. That reach makes it practical for businesses and developers who need stable video generation inside tools they already use. For many enterprise clients, the reliability of Google Cloud and the ability to scale matter more than flashy consumer apps. Sora 2, in contrast, contrast is still invite only and iOS only. Its audience is tiny compared to Google's reach, even if the buzz is louder. Both systems also face common limitations. Complex scenes with fast motion or crowds can still produce artifacts, strange object distortions, limbs bending unnaturally or inconsistent shadows. Neither has broken past the short form ceiling. VO caps at about 8 seconds, while Sora allows 10 in-app. And both companies are staring down the same storm of risks. Copyright disputes, 
disputes, deep fake misuse, and the regulatory scrutiny that follows. A router's report in late 2025 highlighted how OpenAI's opt-out copyright model could flood the Sora app with unauthorized characters, while Google's stricter filtering may limit creative freedom but reduce legal risk. For creators, though, the shift is undeniable. Sora 2 makes it easier to create clips that feel polished without layering audio or splicing shots in post-production. For marketers and storytellers, it's a faster pipeline from idea to shareable content. Platforms like YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram could soon see a flood of AI-native video designed for remix culture. And for regulators, the stakes keep rising. The real battle between OpenAI and Google isn't just about who can generate the cleanest video. It's about who earns trust, sets norms, and ultimately decides how synthetic video enters everyday life. If you made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.